As authorities wrap up a fifth day of searching for a 13 year old who left his home Monday morning and took off into the forest near Devil's Lake State Park, businesses are stepping up. The search for James Yablonski is focused on the westernmost part of the park, which is just off Highway 12 near Sky High Road, and businesses in that area are offering food, water, anything they can do. They're the ones doing the legwork. They're the ones doing the hard stuff. So if we can provide the easy support and just make their lives easier. Grace Hoda continues our team coverage now of the search for James. And Grace, you spoke to businesses that are supporting the search. How are they helping? Yeah, Brandon, Amber, from the very first day of this search on Monday, Sauk County Sheriff Chipmeister says the support has been overwhelming. He says at this point, they're not asking for the public's help in the search for James Yablonski because they worry that it'll push James farther away. But the community is doing anything and everything that they can do. Earlier today, I spoke with Jacob Franzen. He's the farm manager at Sky High Fruit Farm. He says helping was the obvious thing to do, so they've been giving search crews breakfast and coffee. Franzen says that an incident like this hits home, especially because it's happening right in his backyard. Being here, basically in the area that they're searching, I mean, we've been here for over 100 years. I've walked these bluffs I don't know how many times, so I feel really connected to the area. So knowing that they're searching through it. I know what the train's like. I know the challenges that they're facing. Now, Sky High is not alone in this effort. There are several other businesses helping. The Sauk County Sheriff's Office posted this on its Facebook page Thursday, recognizing Lammers Bus Company, Viking Village Foods, and Jay's Power Center. 